Hello everybody, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel Colinati. I've decided to do another Friday Reads video because I feel like filming something and I want to have more time to talk about what I am currently reading, what I am planning on reading this coming week because my weekly wrap-ups get really, really long. But I'm currently buddy reading Karen Memory by Elizabeth Bear with Paul from A Common Touch of Fantasy and Tara from Terabyte. This is a steampunk western set in like an alternate history steampunky version of the uh, the Old West during like the Gold Rush uh, years, and the majority of the action so far takes place in a relatively higher class bordello. Most of the characters in this book are prostitutes, um, and Elizabeth Bear is handling it very very well. I will have more thoughts on this when I have finished reading it, which will be. Um, sometime, probably not this, not this Sunday, but the next Sunday. I have started Romeo and Juliet by Shakespeare. Um, I'm all, I've just finished Act 2 out of 5 acts. Um, I will almost certainly finish this today. I tend to read Shakespeare pretty fast once they get in the groove, and then I spend more time reading the cliff notes, reading explanations, and then trying to track down uh, a stage or a movie adaptation to, to see it performed. And yes, if you know of uh, a, quite a, an accurate or true to the story adaptation that you think I should watch, let me know on my Kindle. <laughs> I have not yet started Sense and Sensibility. I know I said in my last Friday Reads that I would absolutely start it sometime this week and I have been so busy with other things that I just haven't gotten to it yet, but I will definitely start it and try to get past the, the chapters that I'd already read sometime probably this weekend. And I'm sure it'll be a pretty quick read. I really enjoy reading Jane Austen, so that's when it's going to happen. As we all know by now, Terry Pratchett passed away this past week. Yeah, that one's hard. Uh, let's let's not go there. So I don't want to cry on camera. Um, it turns out that uh, the last Discworld book that he completed, far as far as I know, this is what I have, I have seen and read. That last Discworld book that he completed in the summer of 2014 is the final Tiffany Aching book. I'm gonna cry like a baby when I read that. I I can't wait <laughs> for like the real conclusion to that series, but. I feel like this coming week I should finally read Night Watch. Um, this is the only other Discworld novel I haven't read. Or rather, let's say I read a whole bunch of Discworld novels in one fell swoop, and I suspect that I read this uh, like 10, 12 years ago and simply forgot to write it down. But uh, whether this is my first read or my reread, I just feel like I should read this book. It's Terry Pratchett. And we're only going to get one more Discworld novel after this, so yeah. This coming week I also really want to start reading The Just City by Joe Walton. I've heard nothing but great things about this book so far. And I really need to read some more Joe Walton. Her last book, My Real Children, was a bit of a letdown for me, so I feel like getting back in the groove with her was something really excellent. It only took me half of the month to finally break my no library ban for this month, but I have some good reasons for that. And they would be this book. This is As Chimney Sweepers Come to Dust, the seventh uh, Flavia de Luce novel by Alan Bradley. I love this series and I have been on hold for this book for so long. So it's gonna happen. This, these are incredibly quick reads and I, this is a priority. This is a priority. I will probably read this before I read The Just City and that's saying something. I just, I haven't read any, any mystery recently, so it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, guys. I also got this really, really terrible, oh my, whoa. Oh my god, the tape comment came undone. <laughs> this is Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. I'm going to be buddy reading this with uh, Victoria Harris. 
this month, probably sometime this coming week we'll start it. It's short, the font is large, and my goodness, those margins are huge! You probably can't see that. Um, this really needs to be taped back together. That's a rather alarming stack of books on the floor right there. Um, yeah, we'll see how much of this I actually get read and start. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I'll be back on Sunday with my weekly wrap-up to tell you more about what I actually finished this week. And until then, bye.